All right, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you how to take video and produce motion capture data from the video. All for free, um, really cool stuff here. So I feel like let's go ahead and kind of dive right in. So first things first, um, what I'm doing is I'm using Rococo and on the products here, so if you go to rococo.com, products, um, you'll have to go to download the studio, <coughs> studio software. That's a free download. And then also go to the Rococo video tab here. So again, if you go to studio software, um, you can download studio. And if I go to the pricing here, I'll just kind of show you this real quick. Um, pricing. You can see that they have a starter plan uh, for free, and you can see what's included in that. They also have uh, for small studios and for larger studios. So again, I feel like really cool that you can kind of test out this technology for free. I'm also gonna show you where you can download free videos or you can take a video of yourself uh, using smartphone or something like that. So um, then you can see you could download Studio. I already have it downloaded um, and when you download Studio, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, when you log in, um, you can see I don't have any uh, videos on my own on there right now, but uh, this is kind of where they'll be. And then, like I said before, you'll also have to go to, on products, Rococo Video. And here, uh, you can click on Try It Out, and you can hear, see some examples here. They have videos. Um, and you can see how it's converting to motion capture. So again, um, Rococo video, I'm just gonna kind of move this out of the way. Um, you'll have to sign up, okay, or si sign in. And I'll just go ahead and sign in here. Let me see. Okay, cool. So I'm signed in and I'm gonna go to create new scene. And I'm just gonna call this, uh, yoga animation create new scene and I'm gonna say um, select a local video file okay now it's gonna say hey you can either you know browse on your device or record a video um, I just went to um, pexels.com um, and you can download free videos and this is the video um, that I found and I feel like I'm trying to find just a very simple video uh, just to kind of test it. I feel like it's going to be super complex with a bunch of flips. There's more things that can go wrong. So I'm just trying to find a very simple video. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it and download it. And then once you have it downloaded, you can just drag it in to the scene. So I feel like if I go here, I can see here I have it downloaded and I can drag it in. Okay, great. Now, if I hit play, I can see, okay, this is my video that I have here. I can see that it's seven seconds long. If I wanted to cut it, what I would do is I would grab the end of it and I can say, oh, I only want this, this section here to this section here. Uh, the reason that you'd want to do that, let's say if your camera or person walked off camera or something like that, or um, um, the footage got blurry or whatever, you could cut it to whatever you wanted. I'm just going to leave it at the full uh, thing here. And I'm going to say turn into animation. Um, I can also see here that it's called new recording one. I'm just going to go to um, turn into animation. And it's going to say, hey, it's going to take a while and it's uploading. And then you can see the next step is the Rococo Studio like I was talking about. Just uh, you'd have to obviously download it. And once this is done processing, if you don't click on this now or if you don't go to the other site, you're going to lose that uh, button. Um, so then you might have to go back to just kind of um, Rococo to find out how to download that. And I'll pause the video and then come back when it's done. Okay, so that took about a minute. And if I play it, I can see here's my video and it says it can be viewed in Rococo Studio. Um, so remember this, which I already had downloaded and you'd have to log in. Um, before 
it had no scenes here. Um, if you remember, it just had this and these kind of examples. But now I can see that I have a scene here. Okay, so if I double click on this, it's going to be loading my scene. And here it is. Now it looks like nothing's happening because nothing is happening yet. But here's new recording one. I can just double click on it. And now I feel like I can hit play. And I can see that my character does what the video was showing. Okay, which is, I feel like, really fascinating. This is really cool. And then um, I could stop it. I could kind of scrub through. They Now let's talk about kind of exporting it. So over here, you can see there's uh, devices, live stream, and export. Um, the exporting allows you FBX or BVH. I'm going to leave it at FBX. And I can include the body mesh, or I'm, I can take off the body mesh. I'm going to take off the body mesh. I want just the skeleton. And then I want it to be, um, if I'm going to Maya, I'm, I'm most likely going to want something like Human IK, or if I'm going to Motion Builder. So I'm going to leave it at Human IK. I'm going to show you what I can do with that. Um, preset overrides. I can see the reference pose, the T pose is included at frame zero. Um, and you can see some other settings that I can adjust. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of leave it alone and say export clips. And it's going to export that. I'm going to say open folder. And I can see here it is. This is um, my recording. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, Maya. I'm just going to go file, new scene. Don't save. And I'm going to take this and drop it in here. Okay, excellent. Now, if I look in Maya, here it is. It might be surprised to see the character standing in T-pose, but that's because I'm at frame zero. Once I start scrubbing through, I can see that my animation is happening. Okay, in its full glory here. So, um, I can switch this to one and one, and then hit enter. And now if I hit rewind, it's going to be at frame one and, and my motion is just going to be happening like normal. Why would you want that? Well, I feel like it's nice to have kind of a hidden T frame or a T pose in there because now if I put my character on there, I could go to like, I could just put a character on and then I could go to uh, skin it. So if I go into rigging and then I, I select this joint, I shift select the skin of the character that would be sitting over it. I go to skin, bind skin. And now it would be bound to that skeleton. I don't have to try to bind it in some wacky pose. Okay. But again, that's just kind of hidden there. So I'm going to put this back to one and one because this is my start frame. Uh, you'll also notice that there's all these red tick marks. That's because for motion capture data, it's keyed on every single frame, which that's normal. Um, but let's say if you wanted to make a change on something here. Okay. Um, it's going to be very difficult because I feel like, well, because it's keyed on every frame. So I feel like it's going to be kind of crazy, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this icon up here. And this is my human IK or H I or human IK, which was what my target export was. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hip joint right here. And I'm going to say, create a control rig. And if I do that, it's going to say, hey, wait a minute, let's define one. And if I define one, if I click on this, um, I'm sorry, if I click on this character to select it, and then if I click on this folder, it's going to say, well, what template do you want to use? I'm just going to say, well, I want the human IK template or the HIK and click OK. And now it's saying, if it gave me a warning, what I need to do is I need to be in that T pose. Okay, and you can see that when I do that, hey, it's ready. Okay, so I, I need to be on frame zero. And what it's doing is basically this. Rococo is naming these joints exactly what Maya wants the joints to be named, and that's how I was able to find everything, including the fingers, including... Uh, there's no toes on this character, but I feel like if there were, um, they'd all be named properly, and you can see um, 
the clavicle is named correctly and everything. So once I have that, now I can click on this, create control rig, and it's going to produce a control rig over the character. What does that mean? That means that I can take this and move it and alter the character, okay? Just a quick thing here, if I go here, I can move the full body. If I go here, it's just going to be the single limb. And if I go to the next one, it's going to be a single element. Now in this case, I can't move it because I feel like it's not at the end of a, like a chain or something, like a fingertip or something like that. So I can't do that. So this would be full body. And I can see that these um, have a light stroke around each one of those where this is just going to be affecting the arm and that would be key. So that, get, that gets a little advanced, but um, you know, um, I'll just go ahead and leave it at, I'll just leave it at body part for now. Um, so now if I go through, I can see it looks like I lost my animation. So what now? So if I go up here, I can say uh, the source, if I go my source to none, now if I play, I can see I get my animation. But if I set my source to control rig, I don't have it. So the way that I do this is I'm going to put this to none. Now if I go through, I can see my animation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to say bake, bake to control rig. Now when I do that, it's going to play the animation and that control rig is going to understand where it's going. Aha! Now if I go like this, I can see that the control rig is coming along for the ride. Okay? so. Now, if I needed to make an adjustment, again, now I can put this to one and one. I can see that I'm, character one is using the control rig. Um, now, if I needed to make an adjustment, um, let's say the arms were penetrating through or something, because it might not be perfect, obviously, because of the, um, you know, it's just capturing it from video. But what I could do is it's going to be hard with all these keyframes. So in that case, I'm going to go to my channel box, and down here I can go to animation, and this is my base animation right now, uh, which has all of these keys on. So let's say if I wanted to, I'm just going to, I don't know, move this arm all crazy just to, just to prove a point. I'm going to select that controller, um, and then I'm going to click on this fourth icon right here, and now I have an animation layer. So now if I come in here, I could maybe rotate this arm like that. I, not, not that I would want it to you know, necessarily be like that, but I feel like just to prove a point. And now if I press S, I can see that the arm is going to be way out the whole time like that. Again, that would be a correction that I, I would do. But I feel like what's happening here is maybe I want the arm to be out like that, and then I want it to fade back into its original. So what I could do is I could say, here I'm going to key it, to be at 100% weight of that layer. And then if I move here, I'm gonna say, nah, I want this to be back to its original position. So I'm gonna bring it the weight to zero, key again, and now it's back to its original position. Okay, so I feel like it, there's a slight override just for a, a second of whatever I wanted. But if I don't want that effect, I could just mute the layer and now I'm back to normal. That's my, that's my normal motion capture. So hopefully you found this um, helpful. I think that this is some new technology that could really change some things instead of having these expensive motion capture suits and cameras and, and the complexity. I feel like just taking it from video is so fast. Even if it's not the final product, um, like maybe you still need some adjustments, that's okay. I feel like at least it's a great starting point. So if you have questions, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. All right. Talk to you later.